Hello and welcome, my name is Jessica Rose. In this short video, I'm gonna introduce you to the two main types of flux used for jewelry making. I'm gonna talk a little bit about flux. We use flux in jewelry making when we're soldering to help the solder to flow. So there are two main types of flux and beginners will often ask, which one should I use? Um, what do I need to know? So this is a borax dish and cone. This is used traditionally for jewelry making and all we do is add a little bit of water in, just a little bit, and mix it round. And after you've done that for a minute or so, you'll start to get some flux in there. You can get a little brush and get it up. It's very light, you can't see much. I would need to mix it a little bit longer for it to be effective. The other type that we use is the liquid flux, which normally comes in a pot and it's quite fluorescent-y almost. Um, they're very similar, they do pretty much the same thing. It doesn't matter which one you use, whichever you feel most comfortable with for most projects will be absolutely fine. And most jewelers that I work with, um, you know, who've been in the industry for many years are happy to use either, or you just develop a preference. I really love the liquid flux, but it's absolutely just a preference. So let's have a look at it on metal. So I'm just gonna open up the liquid flux and start with that one, pop a little bit on my brush place it onto the metal so you see the liquid come out and then if I heat, put some heat on it with my torch we'll see some little bubbles start to form. And just bubble it up and that's what flux looks like once it's on. So it's just kind of a little splatter of white stuff that is how you know that you flux the area pop your solder on and follow through the process of soldering. I'm just gonna show you with the borax and cone as well, it's exactly the same. I'm just gonna mix this a bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my brush. It's not loads, but let's see if we've got enough. Again, place it on the metal, heat it up and there's the bubbling and we can see the flux. So they do pretty much the same job, pick whichever one you prefer and um, enjoy your jewelry making. And if you have any other questions or you wanna share more about how you use flux for your jewelry making, or you'd like to learn some more techniques, come and visit us at jewelersacademy.com for lots of courses, resources and information for jewelers. Until next time, happy making.